Okay, so now that we have a brief introduction into cookies and local storage, let's go ahead and work on these, right? So right now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a file called local storage. Okay, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to go client, inside source, and then here we have a helpers folder. And inside this helpers folder, I'm going to create a file called local storage.js. Okay, so in this file, I'm going to create three functions. One for setting an item to local storage, one for getting the item from local storage, and one for deleting the item from local storage. So let's start with the with setting the item first. So I'm going to do export const and then set local storage. And this function is going to take two arguments. One is key and the other one's value. So the key is essentially the name, the name of the the, the name of the item that's going to be in local storage. All right. So for this one, we're going to do local storage, and local storage is part of the window object. So local storage set item key and then value. Oh, actually, one one thing I forgot value we can't just store like this reason being is because going back to the sign our signing controller right over here signing controller towards the end when we returned response we ha uh, what uh, we had this user but it is an object now the thing is the thing with local storage is that you can't store a javascript object like that you have to convert it into a JSON object. So that's what we have to do. Okay, so I have to, I'm gonna delete this value and I gotta do JSON stringify and then value. Okay, so this will turn that into a Java, uh, JSON object. Okay, so let's work on the getter. Let's do uh, get local storage. The only argument this will take is a key, okay? The name of the item that's stored in local storage. So this one, we're gonna do a return. We're gonna return, um, and again, and because when we set, remember, so when we set the uh, the, uh, the item to local storage, we convert it to JSON, but when we wanna get the item back, we have to convert it back to a, J a JavaScript object. So in order to do that, we do, JSON parse, okay, and then local storage, get item, and then key. And then finally, to delete the item that's stored in local storage. And by the way, uh, one thing I didn't mention in the previous video is that cookies, uh, one way uh, we're going to have an expiration on that cookie so for me i'm going to have an expiration to last for one day now in order for us to delete the storage uh, uh, for us to allow um, to delete the data that's stored in local storage for the user what we're going to do is that when the user clicks log out at that point we're going to delete all the data pertaining to the user in local storage and also delete the cookie. Okay, so that's the one way that we're gonna delete, get rid of that uh, that data for that specific user, okay? Okay, so continue on. Let's go ahead and create this function for deleting. So, and we're gonna call it delete local storage. And also it's gonna take the, uh, the key. And we're gonna do local storage local storage and remove item that's the name of the the method for local storage and it's going to be the key all right and that's pretty much it all right so this is going to be very identical to the cookies okay we're going to set that up but you're going to see it's very identical okay uh so let's go ahead and set, oh well actually let's go to my notes here so set up local storage okay we completed that so we set up all the three, the three functions necessary for
for handling the local uh, local storage data. And now we have to install JS Cookie. Now this this package is um, gonna allow us to work with cookies and and um, it's uh, has great documentation and a lot of people download it's, it's, it's a very good package okay but this is what I'm gonna use for dealing with our uh, the cookies okay so here um, let me open up my client package JSON now the thing is here I've already uh, I've already installed it here, okay? Now make sure that in the client that that the package JSON that you that make well, here let me open this new terminal window here. Okay? Cuz we've been in the root directory, but make sure see cuz if I do pwd present working directory, oh, or let me list out all the files here. So we're in the root directory, so we have to first change directories into client. So make sure you change directory into client first, okay? And then at that point, then you want to do npm install and then JS cookie and then press enter. Okay, that will install the package into your package.json on the client side. Okay, so once you do that, it should be installed. Okay, as I do right here under my dependencies, JS cookie. All right, so close that up. Uh, okay, so let's. Let me mark that off. Install JS Cookie. So next thing is we want to set up, we want to create a file called cookies.js, and this also will be. Uh, I will create this file inside the helpers folder. So this will be called cookies.js. Okay, and again, this will be very similar to our local storage functions they will we will also create three functions uh, but we do have to import remember we installed the JS a cookie we have to import it because we're gonna make use of it so let's do import uh, I'm gonna call it cookies from JS cookie okay so now we can use this to set up our cookies and by the way let me go ahead and open this documentation for JS cookies JS cookie all right so we check in the npm documentation we see js javascript cookie and as i mentioned it's very it's popular you got all these downloads so that's a good sign it's main it's, it's well maintained um and then we have uh how to use it so here this is going to be the first case here we're going to uh, set up the cookie and i'm going to provide the name the value and then an expiration this this third argument is an object and it's and i'm going to provide a uh, property called expires but instead of seven i'm going to pull one signifying expires in one day so that cookie will last in one day for for one day all right so let's go back here um let me also let me exit this terminal here all right there we go all right, so let's go ahead and create the setter. So export const, and I'll be set, yeah, set, oh man, set cookie. All right, and this is also gonna take a key value pair. Okay. All right, and we're gonna do, um, it's gonna be cookies dot, um, so it's set, I think it was, Let's look at the documentation again. Yeah, set, okay? All right, set, and then key, value, and then the third argument is an object, and I'm gonna provide a property called expires, expires, and I'm gonna do one for one day. All right, that's it for that. All right, so the next one is a getter, retrieving or getting back the, getting the cookie value. So um, export const get cookie, and then the only argument is the key or the name of the cookie. And here I'm gonna do return uh, cookies and then get and then key. And then finally, we have our function to delete the cookie. So I'm gonna call it delete cookie, also takes in the key. 
as I mentioned, is very identical to the local storage functions. So here, um, so cookies, uh, but cookies we're gonna do is, yeah, it's called remove, remove, and then the name key. All right, let me just confirm, make sure, let me look, check the documentation, make sure I got this correct. Okay, for setting, yes. Getting, yes, yes, the name of the key, yes. And then removing the cookie, yes. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's it for now. We have everything set up for creating, deleting, and getting our cookies and local storage. So now we can use that over in our signing component here, because uh, over at this porch here, when we we create uh, when we make the HTTP request with this method here, which is over here, we're getting back. We're using Axios here, and we're getting back the response back from the server and storing that response back in the in the response, and we're returning the response over to the signing component right here, which called it. And so, because we used Axios to make that request, Axios is is promise based, so we can use. We're going to be doing like this. We're going to do then, and then catch right. Okay, in which here in the then block, we would start um, handling um, the response or the success of that, uh, res uh, the, the success of the sign in um, functionality. And, and that's where we're actually going to set at that point, that's actually, or over here in the then block, that's where we're gonna set the cookie in the, the local storage. It's over here, okay? But we have our methods, our functions set up, so we're good to go for now, all right? So until the next video, I'll see you then.